Hello, I'm Gia Run, Associate Professor and Attending Physician at Weill Cornell Medical College and New York Presbyterian Hospital. Welcome to today's Red Lamp Journal Club. We'll be discussing an article from JAMA uh, reviewing the antiviral treatment to prevent HBV reactivation in patients with diffuse large B-cell lymphoma undergoing RCHOP chemotherapy. As you all know, diffuse large B-cell lymphoma is the most common subtype of non-Hodgkin lymphoma. The current standard of care is a combination of anti-CD20 monoclonal antibody, rituximab with CHOP, which can cure a majority of the patients with the disease. On the other hand, HBV infection is a global health issue. Uh, the prevalence of hepatitis B infection varies according to geographic regions, for example, in high-risk area in Asia, up to 10 to 20 percent of the population can be infected with hepatitis B. So HBV reactivation is a real concern while patients undergoing immune suppressive therapy for lymphoma, such as RCHOP. Uh, previously, uh, preemptive uh, preventive studies utilizing lamuvidine, which has shown uh, very good efficacy, effectiveness in preventing HBV reactivation in meta-analysis, 80 to 100 uh, percent um, risk reduction was reported. However, there was concern for uh, development of uh, viral resistance. So therefore, uh, newer generation in Tecavir or tenofovir become more appealing options due to their higher antiviral activity and less likelihood of developing uh, resistance. In this particular study, um, which um, evaluated the effectiveness of uh, intecavir in comparison to lamuvidine in patients with newly diagnosed diffuse large B-cell lymphoma uh, receiving RCHOP chemotherapy. Uh, the study uh, included 121 patients with high risk for HBV reactivation, meaning that they have uh, positive uh, findings for hepatitis B surface antigen. Um, half of those patients received intecavir for HBV uh, reactivation prevention, while the other half received lamuvidine. Uh, the antiviral treatment started one week before RCHOP chemotherapy, continued during chemotherapy, and for up to six months following chemotherapy completion. The uh, investigator uh, discovered that treatment with intecavir was significantly more effective compared with lamuvidine in terms of preventing hepatitis, uh, preventing HBV reactivation measured by viral DNA level, as well as causing much less disruption to uh, ongoing chemotherapy. So in conclusion, this study, which is a randomized phase three study, provided compelling evidence that antiviral treatment uh, prevent HBV reactivation. And in particular, intecavir is a better choice compared with lamuvidine. So I think for patients, it's important to consider having hepatitis B viral status checked before undergoing immune-compromised immune-suppressive therapy, such as RCHOP or chemotherapy containing rituximab. Their HBV DNA level, if patients were seropositive for HBV exposure in the past, should be monitored before, during, and after chemotherapy. Thank you for joining for today's uh, Red Lamp Journal Club. Goodbye.